just imagine retiring early before your peers. It's not just a dream, it's something we can work out. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I intend to do that in my early 40s. And another inspiration I have who is doing this step by step, I mean, it's about having the right plan. And that's what this video is about. Come, let me, let's even start with this is my inspiration, right? <laughs> I met Dodash on this YouTube space just a couple of days ago, really. Yeah, so I just discovered a new YouTuber. I was watching her video and she mentioned Dodash and I'm like, okay, who is that? I went over to her page and oh my God, I fell in love with her personality, the kind of woman she is, her vulnerability, her attitude of gratefulness, and the fact that she's building, she's, she started her channel sharing about her journey, work, earnings, and all that. Oh my gosh. And then again, the good part, she's over 40 as well, like myself. And I felt, hmm, where have I been? You know? So Dodash is a Dodash. Is a door dasher. Is there anything like that? She's a delivery girl, like, and she had done it for years. And she shares about her income, you know, mega income, and how she had been surviving with them. And then recently, she got monetized on YouTube because her subscribers were telling her to. And then it hit her like, you mean you could earn this much? She just didn't. She was just doing YouTube as a passion. And it, it, it I watched a video where she mentioned she earned over a thousand dollars in eleven days because her. Accent was still counting and she's and she was so shocked and grateful and in tears and i'm like <laughs> that's it and then she mentioned somewhere in another video where she said oh so finally i can travel i can fill up my you know my wash bottles i can um, replace my you know all of that i can even take a time off without having to work and girls that's what the retiring early feels like that's the early stages of it and that's why i decided to do this video really so let's even start with the elephant in the room what is financial independence you know we tend to throw this word around a lot a whole lot but for me i think that financial independence is being able to retire from traditional work right and then your investment and your savings are catering to your lifestyle and you can do other things that are not typically work you know in that sense that you don't have to work before you earn in that sense you begin to Travel the world, do YouTube, do things that you love. And then you also have backup investment savings you have invested now that you're young that will help you through that. And of course, when I mean retiring early, I don't mean retiring at 65, 70. That's traditional retirement. And when I mean early means like me right now, 44. You know, like me later before 50. That's what this video is about. Hey. So now that we know what... Um, what they call what they call that again. Well, now we know what <laughs> now that we know financial what financial independence is about. Let's dig in. Let me tell you what I want to do. <sighs> Every day I sit down and I imagine if I don't have to work again, if I don't have to sit down to look through a document again, if I don't have to sit down to actually write clients' work and other people are doing it for me and I'm earning an income. You know, if I don't have to, if I finally can just take off and disappear without having to work and investing in work because I want to earn. That feeling is what I want to achieve. And that's why I started with first planning. How do I achieve that? How do I ensure that at 65, at 70, I have enough income I can, you know, rely on? And that's me as a person. So that brought me to a mathematics I saw online. And I thought, okay, let's talk about it. So is it possible that you can look at how much you are, you are you're currently spending, let's say in a month, and decide that, okay, so this is what, but you know the thing, I'm just like, I mean, I live in Nigeria, right? <laughs> just four months, five months ago, something like a bag of rice was like 80 something thousand naira. Right now, that same rice is about 120, 130 thousand. In just four months so income is not increasing but expenses are astronomical so i was asking myself when i was you know doing the calculation like how do you i mean if you save for instance say three hundred thousand naira is what a typical month is like and you want to say okay three hundred thousand naira every month for 20 years so that like three hundred thousand naira times 12 then multiplied by 20. Okay, I'm 44 now. So multiplied by 16. 
girl i'm old though <laughs> so that's looking at my 60 right so multiply by 16 and i thought hmm is 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 it's not up to 70 million naira, but I was just thinking like, will things be, of course, things can be at this level of expense at that time. I don't even, thinking about it makes me crazy, but of course, we have to start from where. So financial planning, what I did was look at, okay, how much I can spend, I can save comfortably every month for the next 16 years, going to my 60 now, that's Man, the thought of it just cursed me. Like 16 years more to 60. Anyway, <laughs> so that's what you need to do. So whether you are 32 now, 24, um, 35, 41, 51, right? Look at, okay, I want to retire at 45. So let me say I intend to retire at 50. Sorry, 50, right? And I'm hoping that I will live another 30 years up to 80 years old. And I decided that, okay, I'm going to save 300,000 Naira every month for the next, um, for the next 30 years, for the next 30 years. Yeah. So that's 300,000 Naira times 12 multiplied by 30. That calculation, let me check on my, for real, for real, for real, for real. This is not, <laughs> this is not a joke guys. So 300,000 Naira. I'm calculating with my country's Naira, right? So you can do the calculation in your own currency. 300,000 Naira times 12, that came to um, a paltry 3.6 million Naira. Then multiply that. Okay, 3.3. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, so. No, my cursor is the problem, not me. <laughs> so 3.6 million Naira times 30 years. It came to 108 million Naira. So now I look at 300,000 Naira. Is this something I can afford to save, you know, remove from my income every month? If not, I have to think of the amount I can comfortably remove every month. Because see, in planning, you have to be consistent. So you have to choose an income that is, you know, that you can afford. Okay, so that's what I did first. Let me remove this. Okay, so let me even say that I need maybe 200,000 Naira every month. Multiply that by 12 and then multiply that by 30 will be about 72 million Naira thereabouts. So I'm using, the, I'm using 200 to just be on the safe side for myself, right? You can use any amount. Now, that's the first thing you need to do, right? If you're, you know, coming along with us, me and Dodash and the rest of us who are already on the journey, because why not? That's why I started this channel. See, I want to hold myself accountable. And let's go on this journey together. That's why we have the chi, the, we call ourselves the chi money gang, right? Now, after planning what you have to do or how much you would need, you know, to live up to 80, like I've said, you know, counting from my 50, you have to now create a detailed financial plan. Like for me to get 70, 72 million naira saved up before a certain age, let's say before my 50th or before my 60th, looking at how, when I want to retire. So if I'm using 60, I have to save up for 20 years, 60 to 80. But is that not trying to live less than God is giving you? Maybe if God has given you to live like 190 something, what happens to the other years? But of course, see, let's be realistic, okay? So let's just do what we can, yeah? Do you understand? So this is about doing what you can. So looking at that, you know exactly that, okay, I need 200,000 naira every month to take away. That means you have to earn way higher than that to take care of your everyday needs while you're saving. That's number one. So in doing that, you have to be realistic. I've said that already. Number two, you have to now make sure that your money is getting into investments that will pay you interest, pay you dividends, pay you, you know, for investing. So you have to look at stocks, uh, mutual funds, all of those. I discussed them in this video. Please go and check it out after now. ETF, index funding, all of that. That's so important. Investment becomes something you must do. See, when people who are less than 40 are jalevanting, you shouldn't. Mm -mm, you shouldn't, girl. You shouldn't, guys. See, 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 see. We have to be realistic. The world is moving at a, such a fast pace. Things are changing really fast. You know, yesterday I was reading the Bible with my children and my husband and somewhere in Exodus 28, and it was mentioning how God was talking about um, and dressing up Aaron and his children as priests. 
and he was intentional about the size, the fabric, the stones. You hear things like jasper, amethyst, um, onyx, all of those stones, and embedded in a in a bed of gold. And I'm like, these people were they were handling raw, <laughs> raw precious stones, raw, you know. Oh my gosh, there was a lot of wealth. But in these days, those things look so far fetched. Like you have to be a billionaire to be thinking about diamonds and pure gold and all those things. Anyway, I digress. But you know what I mean? Like we have to be very, very intentional about saving, about investing. It's no longer something you like to do. It's something you must do. You're 40 and above, right? Even if you're listening to me and you're not 40 yet, see, if I were you, I will start right now. Yes, even if you're 21 listening to me, start right now. Start putting away funds for later. Think about having a financial advisor because I'm not one. I'm just a content creator. I'm a publisher. I'm an editor. Um, all of that, you know, ghostwriter, delivering books to amazing clients. That's where I am. But I am on the journey of all the money I've been making in the last 15 years as an entrepreneur. How do I ensure that my own age is secure? That's what this channel is about. Okay, get a financial advisor and get the best places to start. I had recommended ETF, index fund, all of that. Please put your money in stocks, in ETF and all of that so that you are sure that the interest and all that can help you to be saving up really fast for your retirement. Okay, now that is you creating a detailed fund. You know, you know exactly how much you want to save up every month. You know how you should keep it and all that. And you have an investment strategy. Very important. And you know that investment, you have to look for an investment that suits your risk appetite. Don't do something that you, you're afraid of. You just, just, just make sure that you get all the explanations properly and all of that. And of course, and I, and I don't think you should also invest in investment portfolios that you're not sure about that. Or they have very high risk of your money disappearing. You, you don't need a heart attack in your 40s. We don't. Yeah, we don't. So that's why I said look at hiring or consulting a financial expert to give you if an, if an investment portfolio that will suit you where you are right now, your time zone, your your risk appetite, your level of income and all that. And I must say that investing in, a, in, in various portfolios of stocks, all of that is much better, especially real estate. Also include real estate. Make sure that you put your money where the returns will always come. That way you are sure that you can save up for, you know, our 80 years dash very, very effectively. Okay. Now let's go to the best strategy. I think that you should adopt. That's what I am doing. And that's what people like DoDash are also doing. I mean, I have my regular business where I deliver books from ideas to prints. Like I give the, them the books, right? And I work with people who are very busy, whose phones are buzzing, who always have people around them. So getting them in a meeting, getting them to record their ideas, asking them to interview them, getting the book content out is usually a hassle, but I love it. Okay. Now I have that going on. I have a whole team to manage plus family, but still I'm doing something. That's what I told you that this is one of the best strategies you can use outside your investments and all that and your savings. This is the best strategy to even use to achieve that faster. And what is it? Increase your income streams. Yes. Increase your income streams because what you have running right now, your paycheck or your daily uh, income may not be able to even uh, um, give you 200,000 naira to save. I mean, it needs to give you more than that for you to live your regular life and still save. Which is why I said you have to know, start from where you are. And you notice that the less you invest, the unlikely you are to hit your income goal you know, faster. So how to get that there faster is what I want us to discuss right now. Let me know in the comment section what do you think okay so number one is side hustles side hustles see i have applied even though i do all of this job i have applied to teach english on preply even though i wasn't <laughs> they didn't approve my application i still do certain kind of jobs that are within my skill sets right now just to earn extra see ceo 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 is not by mouth it is by showing you workings see something happened just yesterday that made me feel Oh my gosh. Yesterday, I had to have a meeting with a high caliber client. I needed to send my fellow colleagues, people in the industry with me to represent me. And it went well. But, you know, I was just like, I didn't have the level of income that I needed to have to appreciate them, you know, to cater for their, you know, logistics and, you know, to show up like powerfully. And I feel really bad. I'm like, see, sometimes CEO does not have money. 
and how to make sure that doesn't happen is having side hustles. So I have side hustles now. It's just that they are still incubating, and sometimes when money comes, you put in a major investment, which is something that we are, we are we are doing a very major investment. I am my husband now, and so it's taking a lot of income. And even sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, to run the home becomes really difficult. I must tell you, like I'm being very very sincere. So side hustles will help if it, if it is YouTube. That's why. As much as I'm not doing this for the money, I didn't start YouTube. I started YouTube seven years ago. Not on this channel, of course. This is my third channel. Like you must have known. I've talked about it. I didn't even know that you can make money from YouTube when I started in 2017, right? But now, seeing the potentials, I'm like, okay, so what are the odds? I love... This is the best way I like to express myself. Talking on camera. Writing takes a lot from me. Timing is not timing at all because a lot of engagement and I'm like, okay, I can do this. And that's why if you follow me here on YouTube, you will know me the best in that sense. So side hustles are very real. Right now, YouTube is my side hustle. But I'm looking forward to getting to a place like Dodash where she has a, a, a full-time job and YouTube pays her a lot of money that she can, she's not feeling like, wait, so I can finally be free and just travel and just chill without having to work to earn $60, $100 in that sense. And this channel will get there and my other channels will get there. Do, do, do you understand? So that's one way I think you can also have a side hustle. Start a YouTube channel. Especially if you're over 40. See, we have a whole lot of experience to share. We have a lot to share. So you're not going to have content block. There's so many things you have gone through, whether relationships, career, whatever. There are lots. And even if you want, you don't want to do a, a, a YouTube channel, start a side hustle that suits you you know in addition to what you're doing that way you can get enough to save towards retiring early right another strategy in this thing you should do is real estate come let's talk about it some more i mentioned that i'm a husband we're investing in real estate funding and all of that we are doing real estate development from scratch like we have the land we are building on it we started building and the income has been going in there for the last four years five years and guys <laughs> It's not a small something in Nigeria, as you understand. See, it's not a walk in the park at all. Like, <sighs> sometimes I'm like, you're just putting in money and it's entering the ground, the ground, the entry cement, and the building is coming up. Yes, but you're like, are we not all going to faint before this house finally, you know, is completed? But see, we got a smart strategy, which is selling real estate, not just to um, build in small quarters, but build something that we can sell off. Ah, since I got that um, and me and my husband just pivoted and started doing that. If I let me even show you a bit. Yes, we are building this in my city and we are selling off just three units and it's the beginning of bigger things and my heart is blown. That's why I've been so busy, guys. I've been so busy doing a lot of things, you know, managing the team, um, paperwork, different things. Talking to the marketing company, mortgage company that's helping us. And me, guys, it's exciting as much as it's overwhelming because I also have my other job to do, right? Real estate is something you should invest. Have something you can rent or sell off or, you know, people cannot actually give you money to even build for them. Especially if you are in the built industry already, you studied things like architecture, like my husband, engineering and all that. Get into your industry, understand the business of real estate. See, it took us to start learning, even with our background in 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 construction we started learning real estate the lingua the how it works the percentage you, you need to have you know to to sell a house off plan and all of that see this is not a video on real estate that I can, I can go on and on and on guys but that's one thing i think you should do as a strategy to hit your income very fast right and another one is invest in your skills the skills you currently have can they give you higher paying jobs so you can learn, you know, other things like product management. A friend of mine told me she's doing product management now in New York City. You know, um, she finished uh, project management. So you, data analysis, analytics and all that. So you could adopt more skills that can help you scale up, get better paying, paying job. That way you can have more savings. See, because this is when we have the strength to work. This is the time you have, we have the strength to work. So don't sleep on it. Let's work now. I retire in the next two, three, five, ten years max. You get what I mean? That's what I mean. That's the best strategy I'm, I wanted to give you, right? So because we are saving and we're trying to retire early, there are certain things that realistically we need to stop doing. I hate to say this, but we need to learn to live below our means. See, I was talking to my brother yesterday and he's like, this is not the time in Nigeria for you to 
be pretending or faking a lifestyle that you can afford because income <laughs> the economy is the economy like the economy will make you people know you so don't you can't hide you can't get anything at a at a freebie anymore you can't afford certain things even to eat groundnut and drink arena it's expensive you need to spend at least a thousand naira right so it's crazy a a loaf of bread is almost two thousand naira for a loaf of maybe that will take maybe four people or maximum five and if, you had, if they don't intend to get full or make it a meal, six people, right? 2,000 naira. Those are things that we used to buy off the street and just munch it like snack and go away, right? So we have to live below our income. Be rich, but don't look like you are so rich because you have to minimize. See, we we're not in competition with anybody at the end of the day. At the end of the day, old age is an, is an, is an equalizer. It's old age that we will know whether... All of this balling is going to pay off. All those extra shoes, bags, all those things that we buy as ladies that are not really important. The subscriptions you're not using. I mentioned it in this video as well. It's time to, at 40, we should do away with frivolities in that sense. We need to learn to live below our means. Okay? And for me, whatever you prioritize now and deprive yourself for, you're still going to get it in the future so why not as i also mentioned in my previous videos please you should watch them automating your savings makes it quite easier i can't say this enough i automate my savings using piggyverse and there are so many other apps and investment packages and bank products that you can use to save money immediately money gets into your account it moves away for your savings that way you won't feel the pinch of oh my money is gone. Instead, you, you feel the pinch of, oh, my investment is growing. You know that kind of thing? Automate it so that you don't have to second guess yourself and say, mm, maybe I shouldn't save as much this month, all those things. No. You have to be intentional also about this saving. You have to track, like, you know, is it working? If it's not working, do I need to increase my income? Do I need to increase my portfolio of investments so I can make more money to put? You know what I mean? You have to automate. You have to track your savings. Make sure it's working in your favor and you can meet your goal of getting as much money that you need that will take you to 80 years old. That is if 80 years is your goal. Remember, you can choose any goal year that you prefer um, to be taken care of. You know, so if I retire at 50, you know, I want to ball. I want to enjoy traveling to places. I want to enjoy my grandchildren. I want to enjoy doing what I love, counseling, teaching, still like this. You know, because I know that I will never stop teaching. Like, I would, <laughs> this channel, I'm here for the long haul, guys. I am here. And that's why I'm asking you to come over this side of YouTube. It looks very beautiful from here. Trust me. And the fact that when people Google my name, my videos show up, it makes me so happy. Like, I'm not straight to it. I used to be a blogger for like 12 years. And I know the effect of that. You know, the fact that I have archived most of my blogs and I'm doing this, I'm trying to build this video content real estate. That's what I call it. Makes me so happy as well. So is people can easily know what you're doing. People can easily find you. You're not hidden. You can't, you're not like the other person who's, who, when you type their name, Google will ask you, do you mean, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Do I need to say you need to be disciplined and motivated why you're doing these savings because you should put your eye on the goal this is the reason i'm doing this i want to be balling soon i want to be taking my grandchildren to see the world and my children i want to pamper my husband you know what i mean you know i want to be pampered i want to have time when they say girl we're going for night dates you're going you're dressing up and going you're not thinking oh my god how are we gonna do with the income i'm gonna do all of those things suck man <laughs> You want to be able to carry your bag and follow your husband to anywhere he said, let's go. You're not thinking, who will take care of this? Who will take care of it? Because you have people taking care of them. Because you have money. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you're wrapping up really. You can tell that this video makes me really excited because I feel like I just have control of my life right now. Things have been really tough this time. But it's also the time that... And I don't know whether I've been in that situation where things are really tough. But it's also the time that you're most hopeful... You have the bigger, the biggest deals about to drop that you're excited. You know exactly what you want to do. Your savings are coming. You have a plan now. You're seeing it through. You know, it's just amazing. Trust me, it is. This whole thing about retiring is a long-term goal. So we must, you know, work together with people who are thinking like us as well. People who have the hunger to not just hustle every day of their life and then pass on. What's the need? See, even for us who are Christians, we need to serve God without hassle. See, money can twist the structure of your brain and make you, even when you see opportunities, you won't appreciate it because it makes you less. 
See, I have tasted poverty. I've tasted being broke a number of years and years. And, you know, it comes and goes. It comes and goes that I can tell you for free that being financially free is one of the best things you want to do for yourself. And retire, being able to retire early from actively working because you need to earn and eat. See, I don't even believe that it's the will of God for us to, until you work, you eat. I know that man was cursed in the garden and all that. And God said, this is how you're going to live. But we have accepted Jesus. So we go back to the original plan. If you leave me, this video will be longer. But anyway, you know what I mean? So come along. Let's hold ourselves accountable. Join the team money gang. Subscribe. Like this video. So that more people who are above 40 and even less can find this video and begin to work with us. Because it's something that is so passionate to me. I want to do a shout out to DoDash. You inspire me, girl. And if you see, ever see this video, know that I love you here and the rest of other people on the internet who absolutely made me meet you. Okay? So, have you subscribed yet? Make sure that you do so that I will see you again in my next video, which is coming right about now. Today is Saturday and I'm hoping this video will go up today. So, let me confirm in the comment section whether you watch this on Saturday October 26th, 2024, or later. It's also fine to watch it later, okay? Anyway, so I come your way again. Be fantastic and be, be intentional about your money. Okay, let's do this. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so sweet.